show is about to start, and make sure your phones are off.
with uh, half loop stitch on China silk. Uh -huh. But the thing is, you can't use a half loop stitch on China silk. It'll pucker. And you didn't just get this in because I saw it in last day's Vogue. Oh my god, oh my god, you guys. I am not about to buy last year's dress at this year's price. I saw right through that sales girl's lies. It may be perfect for a blonde, but I'm not that blonde. I may be in love, but I'm not stupid. Lady, I've got eyes. Oh my god! Elwood, sorry, our mistake. Courtney, take your break. Just ignore, she hasn't been well. Try this latest from Elwood. Come on, try it on. I can't get out of my best night too. about it, Pooh Bear, but <laughs> they expect 
expect a lot from me. I'm going to Harvard Law, and my brother, well, he's at Yale Law. And so is his new wife, and she's a Vanderbilt, for Christ's sake. Oh, so I'm not good enough for you? Or I'm from Malibu, I'm not exactly a trailer trash here. My Jim Simmons is our neighbor. Al, if I'm gonna be senator when I'm 30, I'm gonna need somebody serious. Less of a Marilyn, more of a Jackie. Serious. Somebody classy, not too tacky. What? Okay, that came out wrong. Maybe they'll both be strong. I mean, we've known all along. Just shut up! What do you mean, I'm not a Jackie? I'm not serious? But I am seriously in love with you. Baby, my future's all planned. I've got some dreams to make true. I thought that you'd understand. It's time to get serious. Time to get serious. Check, please. Is no easy thing if you're going to swing it. It 
She didn't bother sending in a personal essay. Forest, class of Ox 7, represent. Welcome to the hallowed halls of Harvard. Now, I know firsthand how hard all of you have worked to be here today, so let's go around and share a bit about yourselves. Aaron Schultz, I want a Fulbright and a Rolt. I write financial software codes, but that's a challenge I've outgrown. 
How many yachts can one man own? Some said I'm a pompous queen. Somehow I don't lose that much sleep. Why bother with false modesty? Harvard's a perfect place for me. Pretty impressive, good to know. Welcome to Hartford. What's up? Yo! Sandy Bhagavan Paradan. What do you mean, Tony? Your Majesty! <laughs> in my country, in my world was lost. But then I knew, because I'm stupid to the top. But here I learned, I made new friends. And soon returned, let the Mercedes Benz. Pretty impressive, good to know. Welcome to Eden! second building on the left, it's in Hauser. Thank you. But I don't think dogs are exactly allowed in class. Oh, Bruiser's not a dog, Bruiser's family. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I'll just leave him in my room. Bruiser loves Glee. Okay, bye. I want a full ride at the moment. I want a full ride at the moment. I want a full ride at the moment. Simplistic and it's dumb. 
Only some of you will turn out sharks. Just some. The rest are shallow. Hearts of the kids, blood in the water. Kids, it's time you face. Raw school is a waste. Oh yes, unless you acquire a taste for blood in the water. Dark and red and brown, you're nothing until the thrill of the kill becomes your only love. Mr. Schultz, hypothetical question. Would you be willing to defend the falling bank or do some fraud? A kind of grandma took her savings and she sent it. Offered her client all she had saved since she was born. Well, he promised to invest it, but he spent it on prostitutes and heroin and porn. No, I would not want to take that case. Wrong, this one is a win unless you're lazy. Grandma's broke, she left and hacked from legal aid. But her understanding fell rolling crazy. Your guy goes screaming. Look for the blood in the water. Read your Thomas Hobbes. Only spineless snobs will quarrel with the Marley dubious stuff. Yes, blood in the water. Your scruples are a flaw. Miss Hoops, another hypothetical. Would you defend the following time? Say they offer you a bundle for defending a famous hitman from the Mafia elite. See, he missed his chosen prey, killed a nun, and drove away, running over to keep puppies in the street. What? You think I wouldn't defend him just because he's a typical man? <laughs> <laughs> you lesbians think you're so tough. You can't say that! Oh. <laughs> Oh dear, I feel my comments is offended. Hard to argue when you're too mad to speak. Your employment will be very quickly ended. But once you see how your emotions make you weak. So what's my point? I run a billion dollar law firm. And I hire for new interns every year. From this class I'm select for your charge so I respect. And those four will have a guaranteed career. Do you follow me? So I want to see what exactly where the games begin. Four of you will win, but just those four are the door. So can yes, blood in the water. So fight and scratch and now. Yes, miss? What, Elvis? Someone said that morning coffee. Would you please state the case Indiana versus her in your sign reading? I wanted to answer the puppy question. <laughs> but I'm asking you about the assigned reading. Okay. Who assigns reading for the first day of class? <laughs> You've got guts, Miss Woods. Miss Kensington. Let us say you teach a class at Harvard Law School, a position that you're justly proud about. But a girl on whom you call hasn't read the case at all. Should you let it go, or? No, I throw her out. Ah. All right, then. You heard your classmate. You have just been killed. She cuts your throat, so grab your coat. Yes, you've got guts, but now they're still just blood in the water. So would you stop And if you return, if you ready to learn, or is that unfair? Oh wait, I don't care. That's so good. Then life is cool, quick, cheer, and shock and awe. You're nothing until.
Yeah, actually come back tomorrow and make sure you've done your reading. Oh, <laughs> 
the number one reason behind all bad hair decisions? Love. You're lost without your love. Your heart is on the floor. I can help you. I've been there before. When I need to relax, I just put on some tracks. From this CD I bought for the store. Isn't it relaxing? It's called Celtic Moods. <laughs> See, my mom was three quarters Italian, and my father I never knew. But my grandfather came from Ireland, a land where dreams come true. Ireland. <laughs> All Irish men are like heroes. They're descended from poets and kings. So I swore I'd get married in Ireland in a wedding like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> and my red-headed groom, I can see him as we stroll past the churches and farms. He's a sailor named Brendan or Liam. He can dance without moving his arms. <laughs> In a bar once I met this guy Dewey, and he bought me like 14 beers. <laughs> and he told me that he was from Ireland, so I lived with him 10 years. And the wedding he kept on postponing, <laughs> still I followed him around. Till I found out about Kayla's friends on me Took my savings and took my dogs My grandfather should have just shut it Every story he told me did me wrong All the dreams that he gave me got gutted All that's left is this weird Enya song <laughs> You should not give up on Ireland Just be careful you don't get played And don't drink till you're tearing your top off And you'll flush the St. Patrick's Day parade A smart girl like you has a future And how good as he new day dawns Girls like you always get to see Send my love to the And 
Forget of my entire life. <laughs> I still can't get over the fact that you're here at Harvard, back at UCLA. I guess I never would have guessed it. Sometimes I miss the old days. Those parties senior year, I thought we ruled the world. You funneled all that food. I held your head when you hurled. You were my thoughts <laughs> back then, walking among common men. Tell me why can't it be that way again? Dreams don't just disappear. We could keep on dreaming them here. What? Like senior year, but father! You've got the future all planned. Yes, I do, yes, I do. What if I'm standing there too? Please, I'm not following you. I'm here because I understand. I'm not sure I understand. I'm here because I'm serious. Yeah, right, you look real serious. Warner, don't forget that I got into this school too. And now we're here studying law together. The people both take on this internship and work together. Whoa, wait a second. Who bear? I mean, Elle, you don't actually believe you have a chance of getting this internship, do you? Of course. Everyone in the class wants it. Nobody more than me. It's a guaranteed career. You can practically partner before you even have a job offer. Elle, you're looking fluffy, <laughs> as usual. Hello, Vivian. Thanks for the great tip on the costume party. I see you came as last year's sample sale. <laughs> oh, you need an ACES course to get that internship. And he's not called C minus Callahan for nothing. Warner, I am completely cognizant of both those facts. You're not going to make it through the semester, let alone get Callahan's internship. Even if you keep going and going and going. <laughs> Face it, buddy. One of these things is not like the other. Someday we'll nominate Supreme Court justices. And you, ten. <laughs> Run along home, Elle, and change on your skin costume. Oh. Is that what you see, Vivian? How unfortunate, because I am Gloria Steinem, undercover circa 1963, and her feminine manifesto, I was a playboy bunny. Are you really calling Gloria Steinem a skank? <gasps> Who's calling Gloria Steinem a skank? She is. Oh, girl. Oh. <laughs> I 
wish that I were dead. Cause instead of a wedding and love, I'm flunking out of school, a total laughing stock. Someone he and his friends can just mock. So go on, here's my head. This hit it with the rock. Wait, go back. You came out here to follow a man. Our burden love is just part of that plan. Man, what rich romantic planet are we from? Malibu? Instead of lying outside by the pool, you stalk some guy to an Ivy League school. That's the weirdest reason I... Well, why'd you come? Okay. I grew up in the Roxbury slums with my mom and a series of bums. Guys who showed me all the ways a man can fail. I got to law school by busting my ass for two jobs in a district class. So forgive me for not weeping at your tail. Excuse me, just because you got some kind of chip on your shoulder? You know what? You're right. There's a chip on my shoulder, and it's big as a boulder. With a chance I didn't get it, you gotta be to rip his head. And so close I can taste it. So I'm not gonna waste it, yeah, there's a chip on my shoulder. You might want to get one as well. I'm sorry, but that sounds highly negative. Hey, when you weren't born into privilege, you gotta work twice as hard. And I want that sweatshirt back. Wait, two jobs plus law school? I haven't slept since 1998. <laughs> Seriously, how did you do it? Well, I don't go to parties a lot. Not good use of the time that I've got. Can't spend hours doing my hair, staying in shape. I don't spend hours. But I know we will all be worthwhile when I win my first lucrative truck and buy my mom that great big house out on the cape. Oh, that's so sweet. No, that's the chip on my shoulder. I hugged my mom and told her with a chance I didn't get it. You gotta be driven as hell. No, I can't take the day off. I just think of the payoff. You need a chip on your shoulder. Little Miss Woods, comma, L. I just need to prove to everyone that I'm serious. No, what you need to do is get to work. <laughs> Make yourself at home. Hello, Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you do drink a lot of Red Bull, don't you? It gives me energy. Energy to study late at night? What? I said step. You do study, don't you? Where are those law books? Uh, they're under the... Under the... Pile of... Pile of... Thick! Okay, they're here somewhere. You know, this vanity is real picturesque, but it started its life as a desk. Clear it off and find some rooms for books instead. What are you doing? Can you live without this? Can you live without that? I don't know what this is. It's for hair! Your hat! Spend your time improving what's inside your head! Out, out, put it in storage, sell it on eBay, leave it behind. Out, out, what if you angry, you're so angry, you may find a chip on your shoulder. <gasps> With the wind just got colder. Hey! With the chance you've been given, why not driven as hell? There's just no way you're around it. You're plowed through till you found it! Been reading it hard, I can tell. <laughs> What is this, my second or my third? Anyway, I am... <laughs> Define malum prohibitum. Malum prohibitum is... An act prohibited An by... act prohibited by law. Like jaywalking or chewing gum in Singapore. Exactly! Therefore, malum in say means... An um, act that is evil in itself. Uh, murder, assault, why choose out the labor day. <laughs> Perfect. Where are you going? Home, of course. Thanksgiving break, remember? Interesting. What? Well, I predict you will probably pass yes. in the bottom percent of your class. What? If you're going for mediocre, you've done great. Hey, that's not fair. Look, they laughed at me like they're laughing at you. Now we can't win if we don't follow through. Might I venture your vacation plans can wait. Why do you always have to be right? Okay.
case, focus, Al, focus. The case of Russell versus Sullivan. Determined that Russell was legally the father even though he was only a sperm donor. Gold star! <laughs> hey, ho, ho, ho. Emmett, this is my friend Paulette. Hi. Hey there. Hey, I know it's not quite as good as going home for Christmas, but... You are so sweet. It's a real time saver. Shampoo and conditioner in one. <laughs> Hair care? I love this guy. So I'll just leave you two alone then. Bye-bye. <laughs> You are so adorable to think of me. Well, hey, have you seen Biff? <laughs> Everywhere. Yeah. I mean, no. Oh. Great, we're gonna miss our flight. Hell? I don't know if you've noticed before, but each time Warner walks through the door, your IQ goes down to 40. Maybe less. <laughs> Though it's hardly my business to say, could it be the real thing in your way? Is this very guy you're trying to impress? Yes. I think my UT and 30B and living my chance. Let's not change the way. Let's make it the same. Hey, hey, let's dance this.
Let's get the crap out of me. And that's okay. Stay low back here and tell yourself you are a strong, independent woman and must be reunited with your dog. And anyone who makes a dog a shape deserves nothing less. It is shaped like a bone. <laughs> and that kind of emotion just cannot be ignored. And it's not easy to find dog-friendly chocolate stuff to do.